me. Is dirty as fuck. Yeah, I know. I don't want to talk about it. Howdy, how's it going? My name's Cole, or Chessy21. This is, uh, this is Lucifer. This baby hits 88 miles an hour. You're gonna see some serious shit. So, we're gonna do a cool little thing because it is actually December 21st, and if you've been here for a while, you will know that that is a very important day for not only me, but for this car as well. But I think to tell you why, we should go to Cool little place. What do you think? I, I agree. I agree. So here it is. Well, I'm gonna give Instagram. Follow whose Instagram if you want it behind the scenes. That is just a 21. Bro, it's been a fucking year. A whole year to the day. Was coming up from this way, she was coming from this way. This one was that one. I think it was this one. Too. It was this one. But as I remember, I flew down this way, turned down, hauled ass, I parked here. You so, actually, still, there's a it's very faint, but you can still kind of see the tire mark. Yeah, of like where my tire was. I think about probably four weeks after his wreck, over here, there was another wreck. I don't know if you can see the tire marks. Get a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me tell that story. Uh, before we continue on with this, I, when I crashed my car, I was expecting maybe like an announcement, an email, something about saying like, hey, slow down through the parking lot. Nothing happened, and then two months later, the exact same thing happened, but just a little bit worse. You know, they're out there. And uh, I don't think they still said anything. So, this car, the guy that was driving it was under... Underage. Underage. Didn't have it. Didn't have a license. Didn't have anything that wasn't his car. Cars was totaled out, and the person had absolutely nothing, like nothing to do. Like he doesn't have his license. He was supposed to get his license a month after. Can't get his license until he's 18 or 21. I don't remember which. He was supposed to get what? It was a. It was an RT, right? I think he was. He was looking at some I think Yeah, I think it was a Challenger. I think if I know. Fun times, anyway. Then, so it has actually been a whole year. And this car was totaled out right in the spot it sits. So there's going to be a couple parts of this video. We're going to talk about what happened, what was damaged, what got replaced, and what are the future plans of the car because it's still pretty sick. Anyway, how did we get to December 21st, uh, 2022? Well, I, at the time, was getting out of class. It was finals day. That's an important note. Uh, and I was going to the front of the school over there to go pick up my at the time girlfriend and we were gonna go drive, go get something to eat. And uh, I decided to take back here just so I didn't have to fight the traffic because there's like a little middle lane. Way up here where the stop sign is, everyone likes to try to fucking haul ass down this way and it's fucking stupid. And it's stupid as shit. I decided to come back here, cut over there, cut through this little back alleyway. You know what they're and, out there. Uh, that was my plan. I was going through here, ran it a little bit faster. I probably should have been 5.30, um, but I was not going nearly as fast as this Black Challenger was. I was coming down here at 30 miles an hour, we'll just say that, and at the last second, down this parking row, I see this Black Challenger doing 45, maybe even 50 miles an hour, some excessive speed. I see her at the last second, and I see my, again, at the last we are coming out here and I see the Challenger coming straight for me and my girlfriend at the time and it was going to hit her directly head on so in the final attempt to save my car if not my girlfriend I swerved to the left giving me just another second maybe of hitting so it didn't hit the door directly 
but it hit the rear quarter panel. You want to come over here, we can assess the damage. It looks fine now, but it took six months to get here. Like I said, I swerved to the left to try to save my car and my girlfriend. It didn't work too well, obviously. So this was completely smashed in. It did hit the door. It could open the door. The door was completely smashed to the frame. Is it frame or chassis? It's chassis, whatever. To the body of the car. Couldn't open it. And uh, to get out of the passenger side, we had to have my girlfriend go out to the driver's side. So the door was hit. The hinges were fucked. Uh, four panels right here on this little spoke is where she hit it very fun time so to fix all of that what we had to do was we had to find a mustang an 05 mustang that was totaled out not on this side cut out you know they're out here here and weld in a whole new body panel sand it paint it get the paint code just right you can you can't even see a weld spot. you would really never know that this happened which is actually really cool like can you see a weld spot on there Right here. Right there. That's no, that's me. Right. Yeah, it's over straight. Malachi is an actual welder. He that's what he does as his trade. Granted, he's a student, but if he can't even see the weld a weld line, I would say it's a pretty good job. Welding. I bet it was make. It was probably make, yeah, something like that. They probably grinded it down too. Mm -hmm. Door, obviously, had to get a whole new door. So off that same car, we got that. Fix the hinges. Got a new seal. It uh. Poor car, man. This poor, this poor car. It was, it was hurt pretty badly, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what has happened to the car since? Since what have we done besides fixing what should not have been broken? That guy was staring at us. Uh, hard. He yeah. can't suck my. Car. What has happened to the car since getting it fixed? I don't like how people are coming in. They're just like they just see me be like. All right, chill out. Literally. Literally, my fucking point. That is literally my point. What has happened to the car since getting it back? Uh, I'll start off with cosmic, cosmetic stuff. We obviously got a new hood. This had nothing to do with the accident. This was just because you know, there was like a, a dent right here that we could not get out. So we just got a whole new hood. It is a shaker replica hood. It is not an actual shaker hood. The vent does not work, it's a replica, but oh well. The truth comes out. Sorry. <laughs> 200 horsepower right here. We got side skirts, which is a small but very crucial detail for me because it's gorgeous, it looks raggedy. It still does, kind of, but it looks good. Anyway. Yeah. That's literally my point right there. Got some new side markers. Do I have your phone? Got some new side markers, yeah, which are pretty cool. They That's actually do, sexy they do a lot. Like when you're going down the road, you look in your rearview mirror, you just see this bright beam, and you're like, oh, finally, uh -huh. hopefully nobody will hit me. <laughs> you would expect a bright blue car in the middle of the daylight to not get hit. Not so really. we've actually finished up the whole black conversion interior. If you guys remember when we bought this car, it was a full gray interior. It's a little dirty right now, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, but when we bought the car, it was a full gray interior. Now it's completely black, uh, minus the carpet, but dash, center console, uh, pillars. Rear seats and roof. Roof is already black. But we literally just have the carpet to do, and I think we're actually gonna get deal squared away on that right now, as a matter of fact. This should have a fully black interior sometime early next year. Inch and a half lowering springs around all the way around. Uh, stock ride height, not fun. I think it's a lot better to spin around on lower. In Mexico, of course. Yeah, in, in Mexico. Oh yeah, I forgot. GT bumper. For all you new three valve motors out there, let me give you a list. And you want to have dual exhaust and you don't want to buy a new bumper, you usually have to take a sawzall and cut this part out. With the GT bumper, there's little grooves that go on both sides. You know so they're out there. Yeah, next life, and we should be ready to get a new exhaust on the car right now. Engine modification, there's not really much because I don't see the need to upgrade a V6 and a 4.0 with that. So, literally, all that we've done engine wise is replace the throttle body and AK and in. That's everything that's happened to the car since it got wrecked. Uh, what are some plans that we want to do to the car? This is where the fun is really going to start. Q and J Angelic music. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. 
god. Look at this sexy beast. It's disgusting. Beast. Oh my god. Is it a turbo? <laughs> well, it's off an Ada. So this is the 4 v 6 <laughs> It is, for a daily driver, it's good. It makes 200 horsepower. This probably makes 195 because of the years of wear and tear on it. Wear and tear? It's a lot of wear and tear. We are hoping to get this swapped out with the 46 V8 that came in these 05 to 2010 GTs. We want to pair it on with a hot rod cam and a T56 6 speed transmission. We want to get some SVE X500 wheels. So we're actually selling these, or I'm going to be trying to sell these for call 400 because the damage wheel, which is easy. Actually, it's very fixable if you want to fix it. It's literally taken to any wheel pro and they'll probably get you squared away. 400, e email me, DM me on Instagram at shussy21. We can definitely work something out. Hopefully Santa has brought me some X500 wheels for Christmas. I will keep you guys updated. This car was never really meant to be the race car. This was just kind of meant to be like, my fuck around, find out. <laughs> fuck around, find out car, yeah. Meant to be my high school dumb look car in it definitely was my high school car, I can tell you that. It's not great to be back here, but it's definitely inspirational because since the time that this car has gotten crashed to now, it's been a whole year. And this car has grown a lot. I have grown a lot. Mentally, emotionally, this car has grown. It's actually shrunk, shrunk an inch and a half. It's grown an inch and a half. It's an important spot because this is kind of when life started kind of beating me up and I had to I had to realize really quick that this this is just how shit goes and you either get up from it or you don't. It's whatever. In my case, I got back up, I rebuilt the car. Was it a smart idea? <laughs> Who knows? I have I've heard both ways. I've heard you saved your project car or you're a dumbass and you should have bought a 5 -0. Second one. I'm kinda of 50-50 on both. But I'm not emotional, I'm just in a little bit of a weird state, but it's good to bring the car back here a year later and see what's happened to it, what's been done to it since. And hopefully we can bring it back next year and do the same thing and hopefully have a V8 chopping away in the same spot. I wanna thank everybody who's supported me through the whole entire year. It really does mean a lot, especially in the beginning part when we didn't have the car, we didn't have content to film. We had to rely on Cars and Coffee, my friends, um, just other stuff. Like we gave Malachi's headlights during that part, which was, yeah, that was, that was a fun video to make. Thank you guys for supporting me so much because I remember when the wreck happened initially, I had so many people reaching out to me, asking me and my girlfriend if I was okay, and that meant a lot to me, and I really do appreciate every single one of you guys, especially the people who are subscribed to the channel and tuning back every week or every, every upload to see what's going on. So hopefully we can bring this car back next year see what's happened to it since maybe we can make this a yearly tradition who knows but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video it means a lot to me it was so much fun to record and edit thank you to malachi for holding the camera of course and uh thank you to lucifer for literally being the best car that i've ever owned out of two god rest the lexus